Hey everyone, and welcome back to my course on Ansible. Uh, in this video, we are going to go over Ansible playbooks. Uh, in my previous videos, I went over running ad hoc commands and the inventory file. So if you need any information on that, please check out those videos. Otherwise, let's get started. So I have Visual Studio Code open here, and I'm in the directory named lab and I have my inventory file named hosts here and it's the same one we've been using throughout the course the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new file and that new file is gonna I'm gonna name it playbook one and I'm gonna use the extension yml because this is a yaml file and yaml files are basically an easy to read format for both humans and computers. Uh, it's very simple syntax. I have in the notes below the YAML syntax guide. Let's go ahead and start writing this playbook. So our first entry is going to be the hosts that we want to use and this can be any of those groups that we had. I'm going to start with the web servers group and then I want to add the option of become to make sure this play any commands run on this playbook is run as root and I want to set some variables which I will paste in here and you can see I'm setting three separate variables here and our web servers will pull this and put it into our Apache configuration once we get to our templates um, so let's add in a task underneath that And every task requires a name. So I will say ensure Apache is at the latest version. I got to make sure that there's a space there and a colon there. And the task is going to be using the apt module. And underneath the app module, we'll give it these two parameters. The first one being the name of the service that we want installed. And the next one is going to be the state, which we want to be the latest. So this is a simple play. It's just going to go out to the web servers, and it's going to make sure Apache 2 is installed and is the latest version. I'm going to hop back into my terminal here. Now, instead of using the ansible command, we're going to use the ansible-playbook command. And we're going to set the inventory file to hosts. And we're going to add the option of dash capital K. And then specify the playbook. And hit enter. And it wants the root password, since I'm using Vagrant, the default is just Vagrant. Hit enter, and we can see some status messages here. So it's running the play web servers, and the first task is it's gathering the facts. Uh, these are basically built-in variables that I'll go over in a separate video, but you can get basically the IP addresses, host names, date, everything from these variables. So they're very good for building templates. Uh, the next task, task it ran is to make sure that Apache is the latest version. So that's the task name that we gave it in the playbook. And it looks like it came back okay for both web servers. So everything looks good here in the play recap. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we expected since Apache 2 was already installed in the last video. So let's go ahead and add a few more plays to our playbook to actually configure Apache. So I'm back in my playbook and I'm going to add a space here and then I'm going to copy this and paste it and make sure the spacing is the same and now we're going to make a few changes so we'll change this we don't want to use the app module we want to use a template 
and the parameters for the template are different so that it has a source and it has a destination and these are going to be the locations of the files so our location is going to be templates and then we'll name the file ports.conf.j2 and we want to move it to the destination of etc slash apache2 slash ports dot conf so this is the location where the template file will end up on the de on the destination node when we push out uh, apache configuration and let's give this a valid name let's say write the apache2 ports dot conf config file so now we are specifying the file now we need to actually create that template so let's let's create a new folder and we'll name it templates and within that folder let's create a new file and we'll give it the ports.conf.j2 file now the j2 extension I'm giving it is for Jinja so this is using Jinja templating. Now let's give this file a bit of configuration. Alright so we're back in our playbook here. We have our three tasks. The first one is making sure Apache is installed but then we have the two template ones where we're pushing out configuration and uh, HTML files. So after we do either of these two tasks we're gonna wanna make sure that Apache is restarted. So to do that, we're going to put a notify in these tasks. So we're going to say notify, and then we're going to give the, the notify a name. And that name is going to be restart Apache. And we need to make sure this is lined up properly. I'll copy this and put it down here. So both our templates have that notify activity. And now, now they have a notify, and that notify is restart Apache, but this is not referencing anything. So what we need is a handler. So we're going to type handlers here, and we're going to specify a handler named restart Apache. So for name is restart Apache. And it's going to use the service module. And the name of that service is Apache 2. Sorry, there is some autocorrection there. So Apache 2. And uh, state will be restarted. And this is not indented properly. This should be at the same level as the tasks. So you can see I can downsize this. Uh, let's put that there. All right, the indentation looks good. All right, so our template activities both have the restart Apache. The notify activity knows to look at the handlers for that activity and this is it's going to use the service module to restart apache so let's rerun that play and type vagrant for the password and we got an error here and i'm not sure why we got an error so let's go troubleshoot let's look at our playbook there's something wrong with the apache2 index.html configuration okay so it was an indentation problem I had it below template but it should be uh, the same level as template alright that should fix it let's hop back in and rerun the playbook and it looks like everything ran properly now let's try that curl again and uh, it's still failing here 
and it's still failing because it didn't think it needed to restart Apache because everything came back as okay. So it didn't make any changes, like it didn't rewrite the Apache ports.conf or the index file, so it didn't bother restarting the service. So let's force a change on one of those files, and when we force the change, it's going to then run that notify. So to uh, force the change, I'm going to make a modification to this index.html, and I'll just add an exclamation mark or something. You can do whatever you want. I just want this file to change so Ansible will know to push it out. Um, so that change is made. I'm hopping back into the terminal. And now I'm going to rerun that playbook. And it should notice that the index file doesn't match, so it'll push it out and it'll restart Apache after that. Perfect. So we saw that. Uh, Apache 2, the index file needed to be changed, so it changed it on both nodes. And now it's running the handler to restart Apache. So that looks like it did everything for us. So let's try our curl for the third time. And I think this time we're going to have a little more luck. So we'll put the port to 8000. And there we go. We can see that it's returning the hello world with the two exclamation marks there. And if I change it to Web02, you can see both of them are working. So there you go. We installed Apache and configured it with a custom port. And we set up an index.html file all through an Ansible playbook. And there wasn't too much to the Ansible playbook. So you can see how powerful it can get. Uh, please join me in the next video where we'll go over uh, more advanced options on using your playbooks and making them a lot more reusable. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.